Hey guys, welcome back to the most relaxing episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server ever. Today, we're gonna be fishing. A lot. We're gonna be catching fish. Ooh! Oh, it went down. Uh, I've been fishing for a little bit, and look at what I caught. The I caught all of these things. So 14 raw fish, 8 raw salmon, a clownfish, uh, a lure 2 unbreaking 3 fishing rod that actually was caught by m my lure 2 unbreaking 3 fishing rod, but this one also has luck of the sea. And I caught a water, a bottle of, a waddle of butter, I think I almost said. Yuck. Well, salt water. Uh, I'm using the chicken I got from BTC, and I'm going to be using something else I got from BTC, an idea. I thought today we'd, for, for a little change, we'd work on the lily pad. Those of you who are not familiar with this build, because there's a lot of new subscribers, so I never know if you guys have seen this. This is my very first build this season, and uh, and probably still my favorite. I mean, I'm really liking the, um, the little steampunky style village what, that, that I'm working on right now, but this thing is awesome. I should get rid of this this pathway here and just make this exclusive in fact I should get rid of a lot of things uh, we're gonna be working on this this thing does not require a lot of um, finishing touches it's very close to finishing what is going on with these this water and we're spud oh here he is hey spud he's still here that's that's really impressive he loves his home oh now I'm in here oh no never mind yeah so we're gonna do some stuff. Oh, the thing is gone now. The glitch. Is it? There's a similar problem over here, actually. I'm not sure why it's doing this. Well, I guess it just it's just a, a Minecraft problem. Hashtag Minecraft problems. Should be a trending hashtag worldwide. <laughs> so over here I notice this happens. No, wait a minute. What the? Yeah. Like I, oh, there we go. There we go. Look, I can't see. And now I can see through it. If I jump, or is it if I go down a block? I think it's jumping. So if I do this, there we go. Yeah, you see that? So I can see through. And if I go down a block, and and it's so weird how this th this works. Like, what if I... I'm down here, and now it's disappeared. Anyway... <laughs> So we're going to do some little things to try to finish this off, or at least get much closer to finishing it off. I've noticed something, though. Cleric. These... I'm not sure how, but I think some of these are new villagers. Look, Fletcher? This guy's a Fletcher. Like, the old villagers, I'm pretty sure it just said villager on it. So, and I, and I heard that the old villagers would not convert to new villagers, but... See, this guy just says villager. Ten emeralds for a sword. And he just says villager. Man, the weather is getting... This guy, same guy. Okay, this guy's the same guy. They're both um, they're both blacksmiths. This guy also just says villager. Maybe just the blacksmiths say villager? Here's another one. What, is, what do you say? Wait, stop, stop, stop. Again? Oh, this is the same guy. Ten, ten emeralds for a sword. He must have just left his house. Why are there always just blacksmiths? What the heck? This guy's a ninja. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with these villagers. Some of them seem new, and some of them seem old. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them here. Is this guy's cleric. How about this guy? Just says villager. This guy says librarian. I don't know. Maybe they are the old villagers, and I just never noticed that before. All right, let's do some work. Maybe we should sleep first and get rid of this ridiculous weather. Is my, uh, yeah, my zombie alert system is still going. The core is still flashing. Come on, let's go. So all that really needs to be done is to uh, dress up this interior here. Get rid of the zombie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Right in the entrance. That was crazy. Did it hit this glowstone? It probably did. That was pretty cool. Uh, all that really needs to be done is uh, to furnish the insides and connect these things to this thing now this is where the idea from btc comes in handy because remember that water thing he had the water feature in the nether and it really did look like water i was thinking what if we have light blue stained glass i gotta go farm a bunch of sand unless i have okay good uh so i have a bunch of sand let's go ahead and uh, toss this in the old furnace i was thinking what if i used blue i'm not sure how it looks though that's the thing like how it looks compared to other water. But I'm going to try to use blue 
uh, glass to just make walkways where it looks like you're walking on water to go to these um, these offshoots, these little tiny lily pad offshoots. Because if you do it underwater, first of all, it's a whole lot of work. Like you've got to clear out an entire tunnel. You got to make your tunnel and clear out the tunnel to get there. And then on top of that, I'm not even sure how I would connect them. They'd have to go like way down to where my portal is. And that just doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Get rid of this grass block. Oh God, that's, <laughs> it's gonna happen. I promise. You know what I need is my dive bucket. Oh, well, this will work. <gasps> you little. I think I might have just saved myself from a horrible, watery death. Alright. Let me go get my dive bucket, and let me uh, try some of this glass. Well, first of all, what does the light blue glass look like? See, I want to get rid of these ugly pathways, and I want to make something that looks really cool. I also want to breed a bunch of these animals, because... Oh, hey, that's not bad. Hmm. That really isn't that bad. I mean, blue wool would probably look good, too, but I kind of want glass. Glass seems classier than just blue wool. Or, like, lapis blocks? No, lapis blocks would suck. Let's try this blue glass. It should We should have enough of it. By the way, this thing works beautifully. Like, the villagers will come up here during the day, and they'll probably wander about this far. But then they'll go right back down there at night. And this thing works just as intended, and I love it. That is all. Let me get this glass. <laughs> um... Alright, so we got 10 glass, we got some lapis here. Did I take it? No, I didn't take it out. I should probably also put my fish in here. The reason I came back here, by the way, was to, uh, was to grab some supplies. But it looks like we're just going to do some work while we're here. What was it? Where was that lapis? Here it is. Ooh, not much. You know what I need in here? My ender chest, or end chest thing. Is it like this? Yeah, I haven't colored glass... <laughs> I haven't dyed glass in a really long time, man. Alright, so let's try the blue. And then I should go get my Silk Touch pick from my end chest, which is in there. <gasps> Traverse these forests. Oh, Pyro! Hey, man. I Oh, man W. I've been very lonely on this server. Everybody's just spending time on that silly Feed the Beast server. <laughs> Come on, don't waste your time on that server. This is this, this is where it's at. Oh, the dark blue. Yes. Look at that. It, you can hardly even tell it's glass. It just looks like an indentation. In the... Oh, man, that's perfect. All right, let me get my um, my silk touch pick, and we'll start placing down this glass, and it's going to be great. <laughs> I promise. It's going to be great. Let's clean up this coastline a little bit. I no longer need any of these fences. So let's clean this up, and let's fill in these holes. I got some sand with me right there. Oh, this, this axe is just about done. Um, oh, five... I'm gonna run out of sand quick. Man, it's amazing. You bring a stack of sand and you think, Oh yeah, this could be plenty of sand. I don't need more than this sand. And suddenly, half my stack. Over half my stack is gone. So let's do this. Clean this up a little bit. This doesn't look normal. I'm not sure why that was even there. <laughs> oh, this needs to be cleaned up. Good. What else? We, well, we got this little piece of sand here. Let's maybe just do something like that. A little sand drift. Sand drift? Does that make sense? Sure it does. Uh, I'll bring it out a little bit more. Look a little more natural. We have five sand left and we need seven. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, and grab some of this. Yes. Uh, I have my silk touch shovel on me still. Okay. Uh, so this is good. Oh, we're going to need more now because the sand fell. No, we're good. <laughs> All right, good. So this is done. This pig really, like, he has not left here. He was in the pen when I left him, and he's been here ever since. Pig, you're gonna... Mm, I don't really want to kill you, so maybe you can just stay over there. Stay on the shore. You're gonna be a shore pig. Yeah, don't you want to be a shore pig? <laughs> um, so this tower, I'm not sure how I'm gonna connect it, because I don't really want uh, a walkway to that tower, because it's supposed to be like a guard tower or a lookout tower, so you don't want people easily accessing it, right? That's that's the idea. Otherwise, our enemies, the zombies, this whole thing was des designed as an anti-zombie sort of project. Am I, is my sound okay? Yeah, it's at 40, good. Um, 
Yeah, it was designed as an anti-zombie project, so that's who we're really trying to get away from here. I guess we could just make a pathway. The thing with the glass, too, is the zombies zombies are stupid. They're not even going to know it's a pathway. They're just going to look like regular water, and they're going to be like, nope, not going to walk on it. All right, let's do this one first. I'd really like to breed these guys, too, and get a little more of a population going inside the, uh, the pens, if you were. Especially the sheep, because sheep come in really handy. But let's get this glass, and let's do the first walkway, and then we'll do other things. I'm thinking of just breaking that down. That doesn't work anymore anyway, does it? No style of, uh, I guess, uh, villager generators? I don't know what they're called officially. I don't think they work anymore, so I might as well just break that. Oh, I guess I was too far away for this glass to cook. Dang it. All right, well, just give me a second. So while I was waiting for, uh, for the glass to cook, the sand to smelt... The sand to transform mysterious. Oh look, it's raining again. This is unbelievable. Um, I, I was, uh, I was, I was farming some things. And check this out. <laughs> I have, I think I have enough food now to last me for the rest of this season. Look at this. I got all this wheat. Oh, you know what? I should keep wheat and carrots on me so I can breed animals. Uh, I also had some carpet because there were some carpet spots missing down here. Man, this place is just a nice place. Why did I ever move out? <laughs> Um, let me get this glass going now, and we should be good to go. Excuse me. Just had lunch. Guess what I had for lunch, guys? Chinese food. You know, my favorite thing... You know what's really embarrassing? I ordered from this place that... The menu's online, okay? And, um... And they have... Online, they have, um... The chilled... Kids' favorites, I think they, they, they call it. Is it kids' favorites? I think it's called kids' favorites. Let me just get some more glass by... No, I don't. Uh, yeah. And it turns out, all the things that I like are kids' favorites. <laughs> like, I like the chicken balls in batter. Kids' favorite. I like the lemon chicken. Kids' favorite. I like the chicken fried rice. Are you guys sensing a theme? A lot of, lot of chicken. Um, I like the chicken fried rice. Kids' favorite. Like, it's ridiculous. Everything that I like is the kids' favorite. And, it, and it's not like they have a lot of kids' favorites. They only have, like, one per category. Just so happens to be the ones that I enjoy. <laughs> anyway, let's get this uh, this first one. You know what? Let's make this one first so I can feed these pigs some carrots. So this one I'm thinking... Should we have them... No, we can't have them all lead towards that because some of them, the opening's on the other side. I believe that one, the open opening's on the other side. So let's just try to make the straightest line possible. And we're going to go three wide. So it's going to have to be here. So three wide from here... <laughs> Oops, I should have got my dive bucket. I forgot. Wait, is this the one? Uh, no, this is the one. So turn around. This is the block we need to be at. Uh oh. This is it. This block. I think it's this block. We can turn around and see. Ooh, right. I can't tell, man. That's this one. This is the. You know what? It doesn't really matter because. When we get there, we'll be able to see. So, let's put the glass right there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This is so good. BTC, you are adorable. I was going to say genius, but I don't want to go that far. <laughs> you are adorable. It's much better. Uh, all right. So, that's good. Now, should we have stairs to get up? Because that's kind of an awkward place to do it, right? We're doing three wide. Did I mention three wide? I Pretty sure I mentioned three wide. We should probably have stairs, but let's keep with the theme. With the... Oh, this needs to do that. And then this needs to go over here. Look at that. We won't even know it's there. When I'm done with these pathways, I'm going to go ahead and pillar up. Like a, a pretty a pretty decent high or a pretty decent amount up and see if we can even notice. I bet we won't even be able to notice. So how are we going to do this in terms of stairs? Should we do... Uh, you know what? Let's use this stuff for stairs. Or, I mean, all we need is, like, one step. Look at this guy just standing over there watching me. It'd be great if you could help, you loser. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more sand. I mean, uh, yeah, sand. I just realized. Got to cook up some more. Might as well pop that in the furnace. And let's see if we have any of the... I don't think we do. Where would I have put it if we did? I don't think we do. So we're gonna need a second furnace. We're gonna need a second furnace anyway when I when I decide to decorate the inside here. So might as well make one now. Okay, 
I've connected all the things. So now, I want to breed these guys. But I just gave these guys some carrots, and they didn't breed. They just looked at each other. Okay, now they're doing it. That was so weird before. Come here. There we go. Aw, cute little porkers. You're going to be bacon. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I need, I need more. I did not connect the last one over there, the cow one. But they're looking really good. Like, this is looking really cool. Let me try a step or two. There's a couple of these that I'm not going to be able to just use steps to get into the place. Like, to breed them and stuff. So, we're going to have to figure out an alternative for them. Uh, let me go ahead and make this. Because that's what I want. Wow, that was exactly an even number. I didn't end up with any, any loose stone. Um, oh god, I can't sprint because I'm so hungry. Eat! Eat! Chicken is so delicious. You know what's better than just chicken? Free chicken. <laughs> Which I got. Alright, so I'm thinking of maybe making... Some way to get through this. Um, I wonder if a trap door would work. Maybe even the new iron trap doors. Ooh. Oh, see? You know what? I almost didn't see the water there. Or the glass. I thought it was water. I turned around and I thought I was going to sink. This thing is very effective. <laughs> it's super effective. Over here is also the same sort of situation. I kind of need a way in. Um, so, I might have to, like, eliminate that. Make these solid blocks. That might need to go too, and then just make another trap door or something that I can get by. I could just put. Holy, just stop that already. Yeah, I get it, you're angry! Uh huh, really upset. Um, all these chickens are dead, by the way. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. Um, I don't know what happened. There's like four left in there. There was a lot more than four before, and the, the, the chest is. Not the item hopper. The chest is not even full yet, which is surprising. Oh, you know what? I'll take these out of here. Might as well. Since I'm cleaning things up, I might as well do that. So let me go ahead and figure out how I'm going to make... I guess this one I don't really have to go into. This is sort of just like an observing thing if I want to go look at it. But the ones with the animals, I kind of have to get into to breed them and stuff. And to, like, slaughter them <laughs> if necessary. So maybe... Ooh, this one, this one I guess we can do something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I can get up this way or that way. But I need a way in here. So I have to figure out a way to attach a trapdoor or ladders. Ladders is just... Did Good forget to turn the server back to hard? I don't know. Maybe. In my settings, it says uneasy. Uh, in his? I don't think that has to do with... In... Ye, like, in... Y yours? <laughs> um... I don't think that matters. So what does mine say? That says easy as well. Maybe it does. Mine says easy as well. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if it actually reflects the, um, the difficulty of the server. I might be wrong. There's been so many updates that I haven't really. Yeah, I think it adapts with whatever the server is. Ah, well that sucks. Uh, let me get some more stuff. Alright, cheap. I don't like you and you don't like me. But, um, this might work. This might work. Ooh, no, wait a minute. They're gonna jump over this. This might not work. <laughs> wait, if I do this, are these? Oh, these are the chiseled. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. If we break this and do like chiseled, he oh, do I want chiseled though? Or do I want columns? Like, that's chiseled. Oh, the columns is with the smooth ones. Right. Chiseled looks kind of cool. Hi! Don't come out here, please. I don't even think they would come out because it's... It's, uh... It's water? I don't think they want to be out in the water. But if we do this... We could still put, uh... Okay, this guy's trying to jump. Before you jump out, let me just go ahead and do that first. Let's break this. Do this. They won't jump out of that now. And there we go. Now we can get in. 
Oh, right. Oh, right. Because, yeah. Well, let's use a button instead. Let's just use a button. Did that, that thing fall? I don't even have the materials for a button. Oh, this... Yeah, this needs to be the same. Like so. Let's go ahead and put that there. And then we could still... I'm pretty sure we could still do the blue... Yeah, we can, can't we? Because we can fit through here. This is going to be tricky, though. <laughs> uh, there we go. So we can still we can still cover this up like so, and just have that thing. We can even put a door, really. But oh my god! Oh no! Did I leave an op? I didn't leave an opening, right? I don't think I did. Yeah, let's go. Oh, here's the lever. Might as well get that while we're down here. Up we go! Quickly now. Alright, we're safe. That was a smooth block. A regular block of quartz. There we go. Whew! Alright, so a button. It's gonna have to be a button, and it's gonna have to have a button on either side. But that looks that looks fine. Can we do this? I've never noticed. We can do that. Well, that's interesting. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, that's just giving me that's just giving me some interesting ideas. None of which are applicable to this project, but I I got a little carried away. Let me get some buttons and um and fix that. Yeah, that looks fine, right? I think it looks good. There might be a bit of a design flaw here. Yep, there it is. There's your design flaw. The little guys can go through now. As much as I hate to say it, I think we either need to use fence gates, which are brown, or iron doors. Which make more sense, because they would match the theme a little bit more. I've been working on the pig one there, and, uh, and I also realized that uh, those little piggies... <laughs> <laughs> they could definitely go through. The stair here is kind of cool. They they rarely make it. It's because I'm holding carrot, by the way. They rarely make it. If I don't hold carrot, they won't jump over because the, the, the slow sand brings the one block down. So they just sit there and jump and jump and jump and go nowhere. That's kind of cool. Um, so I think I'm going to have to use doors, unfortunately. it's uh, I don't really like iron doors. They look... They just look weird. I wish they were solid iron and didn't have the the little the four little squares at the top like the wood doors. But you leave me little recourse, Minecraft. I must I must use iron doors or fence gates, but fence gates don't look very good. I could use trap doors if I had something. Nah, let's just go with iron doors. Iron doors make it a lot easier. I could I could just use ladders too, but then again, ladders are brown. I'm not really sure I want brown on these things. Let's try the iron doors. Ooh, I need space. <laughs> As usual. There we go. That makes it look a little nicer than just the little thin blue strip at the top. This kind of fits a little better. I can go in here. I can come out. And these guys aren't going anywhere. I feel a lot safer now. Great. Let's do, let's do the same thing to the pigs. It's going to look a little more awkward because the pigs, the the pen is lower. But, I mean, we do what we can, right? That actually doesn't look very bad at all. It's got kind of a nice swoopy shape. Huh. <laughs> this might turn out better than I anticipated. All right, great. So now we got to do the same thing to the donkeys here. Now, the donkeys have this fence. It's another brick fence. So... What we could do is just use some sort of different technique. I haven't even put these slabs on here yet. Let's just go like this. And the fence. Uh, there are no fence. There are no nether brick fence gates, unfortunately. So, we could use nether brick and then put a door as well. Or... I mean, for this one, what could we possibly do for... We could put... Couldn't we put... Isn't this a trick? Is this still a trick, or is this not a trick anymore? No, you could still do that. And they won't jump over that. Right? <laughs> right? 
Uh, let's try that. Let me get some, um, I guess, red carpet and try that and see how it looks and how it works. Ah, David. My good friend, David. How you doing, buddy? This works, by the way. That's it. That's all you got to do. So, oh, I changed the steps here because I needed, I needed one more block of space to jump. This works nicely. Um, these guys don't seem to be wanting to get out. I haven't really tested. I kind of don't even want to test. I'm just hoping for the best. Is there is there glass under here? There isn't. I need to have at least one. Yeah, there we go. Much better. All right, on to the cows. There we go. That works. I don't like the door sticking. I never did like the door sticking out like that. I kind of like them on the inside. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. This could be disastrous. No, we're good, we're good. Sweet, look at that. Just get in like that and, yeah, I wanna leave this place now. And there we go, I'm out. And they can't come out, right? Yeah, they can't jump this. They can't jump this, who do they think they are? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, I wonder, is this too squared? No, I have to leave this here, otherwise they will be able to jump it. So, how are you doing, uh, Beatrice 2 and Bill the Murderer, because Beatrice originally died, stupid Bill. You know what, you guys, you guys need to make babies. Bill, make a baby with this, Beatrice is gonna stay away from you. There we go, babies! Oh, you're so cute! Great! Alright, so I'm leaving now, I'm leaving you guys. Okay, there's, there's a flaw with my plan, me not being able to operate a door. I think we're good, guys. I think I got everything. We don't really need to get into that one. That's a self-sustaining system, or it should be anyway. And it looks decent. Now, let me pillar up, and let me see what this thing looks like from the bottom. I mean, from the sky. What am I talking about, the bottom? Huh? You can't even... You can hardly tell that there's a path from lily pad to lily pad. It looks really... Good. Man, I like this place. I really do. You know what? That's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably finish it off, quite honestly. Um, I'm thinking of doing the furniture in there in the next episode, taking that down, which shouldn't take long at all. I can even do it off camera. I don't think you guys need to see me do that. Um, so finishing the furniture in there, and then just decorating the nether entrance underneath. And that's pretty much it. There's other things I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to bring wolves in here, but that might be a little bit too difficult. Hey, look, it's... uh. It's David Asselhoof, and there's his buddy, Ferris Mueller. <sighs> Such an overused name for a mule. But everything looks good. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, working on this. It's nice to come back to old projects, and, and you see it with a fresh eye. You know what I mean? And it does, it does look really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.